Hey guys, so today I'm going to be looking at the dumbest arguments people have ever been in. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. My wife and I once argued over whether or not I liked mustard on my hot dog. I was for me liking mustard. She was against me liking mustard. The argument lasted way longer than you could have imagined it would. They argued over whether or not the dude liked mustard, but he said he likes mustard. So shouldn't the argument be over? Like... It's his decision whether he likes it or not. <laughs> That's so weird. What? How are you going to argue over someone's personal preference? Like, no, you don't like mustard. I actually, I do like mustard. No, you don't. You don't like mustard. <laughs> That's such a weird argument, honestly. That's so funny, though. But it just sounds so frustrating to try to convince someone that you like something and they tell you that you don't like it but you like it how are they going to tell you that you don't like it when you say you like it <laughs> my brother and i argued if our staircase had 13 or 14 steps based on an argument about if the floor of the second floor counts as a stair step or not we still have no solution oh i can see why this turned into an argument though oh okay i mean it's not a step Wait, I don't know. Oh my gosh, I can see myself getting into this argument. <laughs> oh, well, there's no need to argue because someone cleared it up. They said that dad is a stair builder and it's 14 steps. So that means the second floor counts. All right. My husband and I have this thing where we only say I love you on Saturdays. Every other day it's I love you, but only on Saturdays. I don't know how it started, but it's been going on for 11 years. We're both shift workers, so sometimes we have to stop and think what day it actually is. We had an argument recently over whether it was Saturday or not. I said it was Saturday. He said it was Friday. It was Monday. <laughs> Wait, so they don't even keep track of days? They don't even know what day it is and they're arguing about the day when they both don't know? That's such a weird argument. Imagine two people not knowing the answer and they're just arguing over it and they're both wrong. So that argument is just invalid. Like what's the point of arguing when both your answers are wrong? These are actually pretty funny. With an ex, I owe you $80 for the bills of ours that you pay and you owe me $40 for the bills of ours that I paid. Here's $40 in cash. We're even. She did not understand this. I literally had to go get another $40 out of the ATM and hand the $80 to her. Then I had her hand me the $40 she owed me. Now how much do you have in your hand? She still didn't understand. She somehow has a college degree. <laughs> Maybe math is just something she's weak at. <laughs> wow. So she's like, but you said you owe me $80, so pay me up. Pay me the $80. And I guess she just didn't understand that if she gave him the $40, she would have $40. So, yeah. Woman wanted ice on the bottom of her drink. Now read that sentence again and try to imagine arguing with that particular brand of stupid. Oh. <laughs> so I guess, you know, the ice just kept floating back up because obviously there's water so the ice is going to float. But the woman was like, excuse me, I told you I only wanted ice on the bottom. How dare you? Where's your manager? <laughs> I repeatedly had the argument with a friend over whether roosters were chickens. She was convinced that only the females were chickens, hens. We were 18 at the time. Aren't roosters the male chickens? She was convinced that only the females were chickens. So what were the males? Not chickens. <laughs> There's chickens, but you know what? Only the females are chickens. What about the male chickens? <laughs> I'm so confused. So I guess she's just saying chickens are all females. That is confusing. When we were kids, my brother and I got in a physical fight because he said I like mini wheats and I insisted I didn't. His argument was that I always sang the mini wheat song and I was deeply offended that he wasn't aware that it was just stuck in my head, but I hated the cereal. I actually did like the cereal. I'm not sure why I was arguing with him about it, but I remember how genuinely angry I was. Wait, what happened? What? 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 So the brother was right. 
I thought it was gonna be like the first one where they were like, I don't like it. And then the brother's like, yes, you do. But in this situation, it's like, actually, actually, you know what? I did like it. Why did they lie and say they didn't like it when they did like it? I guess they just didn't want their brother to be right. They were like, you're wrong. I don't like it. But I actually do. But I don't. How the ch in masochism is pronounced. My friend caught me saying masochism while he would say masochism. Wait, which one is right? I, I don't even know. Isn't it masochism? Masochism? I don't even know how to pronounce this word. To be fair, he grew up speaking French in which the ch in masochism is pronounced his way. But he insisted that I was the wrong one here and that was just infuriating. Oh. Well, there's no argument to this because there's only one right way to pronounce something, right? Just type it in Google or something and get it pronounced okay. And then the argument is done, done. But then some words are pronounced differently depending on which country you're from. Like in Australia, we pronounce some things different like tomato, tomato, aluminium, aluminum. Was in a pub with a few friends and some random dude dropped an ear and somehow figured I'm vegan. Well, people like him are the reason I usually avoid mentioning it. He came up to me and insisted on starting a discussion about veganism. He claimed that by the end of it, I would be eating meat again. He listed some stupid arguments. I told him I was not convinced and then tried to keep on drinking beer with my friends. He followed me and wanted me to try to convert him to a vegan. I stupidly listed some of my reasons thinking it would make him go away. He told me he was still not convinced, so I was like, whatever. Again, I really just wanted to drink beer with my friends. Oh my gosh! Dude, just mind your own business. They're doing what makes them happy, so be it, okay? That dude followed me all night and expected me to try to make him vegan. Doesn't matter what I said and all the reasons that for me are obviously good enough to be vegan. He'd just be like, no, that doesn't convince me. Therefore, your argument and how your life is stupid. This, what's the point of this argument, honestly? It's not even his business what they decide what they want to eat, you know? Like, dude, just, just just walk away. Just walk away, honestly. It's not your business. They're living their life happily, okay? They want to be vegan. And that dude wants to eat meat. Okay, live your lives separately. Now go, go your separate ways. Someone tried to fight with me over how to spell my name. No, no. Now, my name is in a lot of languages with slightly different spellings. I would have accepted any of those spellings, but this one was just not even close. It didn't make any logical sense. For example is if my name was Thomas and someone was insisting it was spelled Tomash. <laughs> and not just the name Thomas in general, but that me specifically on my birth certificate was named Tomash. I know how to spell my own name. I swear to God, it went on for like an hour. How are you gonna teach someone how to spell the name when they've been spelling that name for their entire lives? Huh? I'm sure they know how to spell their name if that's their name, you know? <laughs> they were given that name. Oh my. I was in an online chat room one day and we were talking about whales. I commented on how whales are mammals. The next thing you know, someone was arguing with me and trying to convince me that a whale was a fish. In school, we're taught that whales are mammals and I feel like Knowing whales are mammals are just what kids know too, you know. Stupid microwaves. Having a man child talk down to me about how microwaves work only for him to Google it and prove me right. He slept on the sofa that night. <laughs> That's always so awkward, thinking you're right and then you Google it, but the other person is right and then you have to be like, oh, <laughs> I guess you're right. My friend keeps telling me that the norm is that a person should shower once a week. <gasps> This has been going on for years. I'm almost convinced he's trolling me. Once a week? Yo! <laughs> this is weird. Does that mean they keep like the same clothes or do they change clothes? Imagine wearing the same undies for once a week. Oh my gosh. What if you have your period? Oh. <laughs> oh. My cousin and I argued over a balloon going to heaven. We were at his big sister's prom send off and he let a balloon go and it went high into the sky. He then said this balloon will go up past space and go to heaven and reach grandma. 
God rest our soul. And I was like, no, it's not. And it's probably not even going to reach space. Releasing balloons is terrible for the environment and kills, harms so much wildlife. He got really mad and defensive and started telling me to Google it and do my research. And I'm like, I don't have to Google it, you idiot. He was mad at me for a week. <laughs> That's hilarious. When someone's like, you should Google it because I'm correct. And then that person is like, I know. I don't have to Google it because I know I'm right. Coworker claimed that it was the same time of the day and the same season on the whole globe. Had to get four coworkers to confirm to him that time zones do in fact exist. Yes, yes. Like, right now it's winter and somewhere else it's summer. It's winter right now in Australia. It's cold. My brother is colorblind and he constantly tries to correct me on what color things are. Hey, could you hand me that red? That's orange. No, it's red. Orange. You can't even know. It is the base of our most common and heated arguments. Oh my goodness. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.